problem ya hao watu wanataka cash flow washaona wa Kenya ni ATM kwa majina naitwa Boga aka KRG the Don aka msanii wa president so um, kuna mambo imetifikia uh, nimeona mitandaoni ambayo sijui nianze na kwa kusikitika ama nianze kwa kulia ama nianze kwa kusema namna gani kwa sababu ni mambo ambayo hayaridhishi nafsi kwa sababu mimi sipendi mtu ambaye anataka ku, kuongea uongo ili kuharibia watu wengine majina mitandaoni au kusema kitu ambaye haifai uh, hii issue ya Mirako Baby ni issue ambayo najua mwanzo mpaka mwisho mahali imefika na imenipata kwa surprise kubwa sana kuona ka true na Mirako Baby wamefanya vitu ambavyo wanafanya sasa hivi kwa sababu in the beginning uh, I think nyinyi ni watu ambao hamjui hata kusema shukrani na kulingana na vile ninaona mnafanya kweli ile msemo ya, kiso, ya, ya Kiswahili nasema asanti ya punda ni mateke hivyo ndo unaona hii kitu iko kwa sababu saizi mnatengeneza picha ambayo inakuja kukuwa ni kama rais wetu anaongea uongo ama alifanya kitu ambacho hakifai wakati sisi mheshimiwa jagua na mimi tulienda tukaomba msaada kwa rais kitu ambacho hata rais hakuwa aware of and uh, he does not even know who Mirako Baby was ilikuwa kazi ngumu sana kumuelemisha kwanza huu ni nani mind you the president is not just someone mwenye ako idol rais ni rais wa inchi kuna watu over 40 million wanategemea rais na wote wako na shida zao separately so kwa hiyo kumconvince aache shughuli za hao watu wote asikilize mtu mmoja is not a small thing vile watu wanafikiria kuona hata rais sisi ambao hata tunaweza pata chance inakuchukua hata zaidi ya mwezi miezi miwili kupata ta appointment kwa hiyo ukipata hata chance ya kukutana naye hata 2 minutes na hujamwombea shida zako zote na akwambia utatatuliwa it's a process kwa hiyo Mirako Baby what I can tell you I think watu ambao wanakuguide saa hii wanakupotosha kwa sababu you got a golden chance wewe kuenda hata hospitali but uh, what you guys are doing you are doing wrong na mimi nataka niwaeleweshe hapa kwa sababu I am not here to to prove myself at niko right ama mheshimiwa jago yuko right kwa sababu you are wrong kitu ya kwanza you people are very ungrateful that is one thing i can tell you you are very ungrateful sisi tunajua uko na shida na hata ukikuwa na shida pale mtu anaambia yango shida yako tatatuliwa style fulani you are supposed to accept the reality of the matter that kwamba you are not special nobody is special in this world so when you are put somewhere and you know you are going to get help receive the help na uri appreciate mheshimiwa jagu alikutetea sana paleta mimi sikukua mimi nilikuwa hata niko shughuli zangu zingine nikapigiwa simu akaniambia ile maneno tulikuwa kwa tumepanga imetimia tumepewa hapa laki tatu twende tupeleke mirako baby laki tatu ambao wanasikia wanasema tulipewa pesa nyingi zaidi ya hiyo lakini nataka niwahakikishie kwamba ile pesa ilitolewa ilikuwa laki tatu Rais ni shahidi wetu ile pesa alitoa ilifika kwa mikono ya wale watu tulikuwa tunafaa kupatia baada ya hapo tukaambiwa vile tukaepatiwa maelekezo vile tutaenda tupate msaada Kenyatta National Hospital Mimi na mheshimiwa Jagwa tuliwacha shughuli zetu zote mind you kila mtu hapa Nairobi yuko na shughuli zake kila mtu yuko na biashara zake kila mtu yuko na familia yake Ukiona mtu amewacha hata shughuli zake for 5 minutes amekuja kuku attend respect that person Mimi tulikuja kwenu tukakuconvince wewe paka tukaenda hospitalini tukapatiwa VIP treatment from the beginning paka mwisho Kinyata National Hospital is a big hospital it has more than i don't know 5000 patients wenye wako in critical conditions hakuna hata nafasi Before pata nafasi you can wait for even a week or two. The boy got services in less than one hour. Kufika hospitalini alikuwa ameshapatiwa kila kitu. 
hakupandishwa matatu alipanda ambulance kutoka kwa nyumba yake paka hospitali hakuna pale nisimama kwa traffic even one minute hiyo yote ni coordination yenye sisi tulipanga hakuna hata sumuni aliitishwa tuka make sure amefika kwa hospitali yeye anataka kupatua the VIP room ile iko na paka cho haipatikani zimejaa zote zimebukiwa na watu ambao ni wagonjwa wana wako in critical condition hata wawezi ongea wako kwa H nito nini H, HD HDU na ICU ha sisi tukamtafutukampigania paka kapata room pahali hakuna mtu anamsumbua tukampatia room iko na view ya kuona town asipate stress eh na tuka make sure yuko salama na wakaridhika tukiwa hapo na nikajua na hata tukitoka hapo na mheshimiwa jago aliniambia huyu kijana atatoka kwa hiyo hotel hospitali hebu kupata muda urudi na mimi nikamwambia mimi niko na safari zangu wewe unajua kama si heshima ya rais mimi msingi akuja hivi tu mimi ni mtu wa biashara nisiweze cha biashara zangu na nene nikafanya hii mambo kwa sababu wasanii ni watu very ungrateful na wasanii wakiendelea hivi watakuwa wanaumia si tunawaangalia tu kwa sababu ya nini Tell me one of your friends mwenye alikusimamia hata for five minutes none of them came ilichukua watu wachache tu waje tulisema acha si tuende tujinyime sisi my friend tulikusaidia wewe wewe unajua hata tulikuja na gari zilotoka wapi mafuta mimi gari yangu range rover yangu niliwacha huko hata bodyguard wangu nilimwambia ka huko mimi naenda biashara ya rais nitakuja baadaye umeelewa tukawacha gari yangu huko kwa jabu asubuhi nilikaa kwa jam for more than two hours nikaenda asubuhi Tukiarakisha tumalize hii maneno. Jago akaniambia wacha gari hapa. Ndio tu, tu, tu rush ingia kwa hivi gari ya serikali tukimbia. Tukakimbia, tukafanya kila kitu. Eh? Sisi wewe unajua sisi kutembea peke yake town. Unajua inatugarimu pesa ngapi wale vijana wakituona pale town? Lazima wawache kitu ya macho. How much do we spend from our pocket kujamaliza tu hiyo kelele hawa vijana walioakuta hapo nje hospitali? It is chaos. To move someone like me or Jago it is chaos it's not easy but we will to the sacrifice to kaenda tukafanya but mumeamua kutulipa na kutuaibisha tunasema asante sana gayaro mukani enywe gayaro mukania kutidia gogo nyinyi mnataka luxury na najua pahali problem yenu yote iko the moment you noticed Kenyans are giving you free money now mnaona umepoa laki tatu mjipange mimi ningekuwa mimi buga niko na tabu kama hiyo Siwezi toka hiyo hospitali. Umeniambia ni tibio mpaka ile siku utatembea. Chakula napewa bure. Hospitali nimepewa private room. Ni kwenda tu choo pale. Hapa mimi naenda. Hata mnitendee kwa wheelchair. Mnanipeleka choo mimi narudi. Because you have been guaranteed by the hospital management anything you want. You have specific people to call. Uko na namba zao you are given VIP treatment. You have to listen to them because they are expertise. Hawa ndio wataalamu wa maneno wanabomoa mwili ya mtu kama gari wanarudisha tena lazima uwasikize wewe unataka luxury unataka kwa, kwa nyumba yako na unyang'anya wa Kenya pesa that is not the way to go when you get help president nyinyi mnataka president akuwa na watumia mpesa kila siku wewe unadhani president anadai ako na watu wangapi ana deal na wao kwa one day ni wengi sasa hizi hata sijua hata ako wapi na rais wangu sijua hata ako wapi mimi niko hapa na kwa biashara zangu do you know how much it is in this country mtu kuacha shughuli zake kwenda kwa tende za mtu mwingine because everybody yako na bills to pay mimi hata niko na nyumba zangu zingine zimekatwa stima na hata i don't care because hata watu wenye wanaishi huko hata wanisaidii wananisumbua kichwa nimeambia hata watu wa Kenya power kwenda ngoa stima ndio watu watoke kwa manyumba wanaona tu tv na umbea <laughs> people are lazy please let us not be lazy when you are given help can you pursue yani nyinyi kitu imewashinda ni kuvumilia kukaa hospitali hizi mapipe hizi vitu mnasema eti mnanunua kila siku ziko pale hospitali for free for for free kitu tu inawashinda nyinyi mnataka raha na sisi tuliambiwa viti na ngapi oh pita alikuwa amekunywa pombe nini na nini we ignored all those we went back to humanity tukasema hatutaki kusikiza umbea ya watu huyu ni ndugu yetu ni msanii yuko na tabu tutasikiza alifanya nini nikamfikisha hapa tutaangalia solution long term solution long term solution ya huyu kijana ni very simple ka hospitali pata treatment ukitoka kwa hiyo hospitali kwa sababu ni president ametoa order si utoke ukitembea na mugu yako una dance kabisa wewe urudi studio utoe muziki 
na mimi hata nimesha hata ujui ile mambo tulikuwa tumekupangia mimi hapa nilikuambia tuko hospitali i will talk to my friends i have friends that have different companies they produce different products for houses nitawaongelesha watakupata hata shopping ya 6 months but you have to be okay sisi tunataka kutoka hospitali uende nyumbani ukalipe rent pesa ya rent tulikupa na matumizi ya watoto ni mama tu ngemwambia nenda nyumbani wacha mimi nikae hapa hospitali you come visit me these hours you are you, in your house i saw you have a mother your wife and somebody you can even dedicate maybe your brother mnafanya intervals so that you can true aende afanye kazi zingine but nyinyi mnataka tu kudanganya watu kwa mitandao that is not the way to go you are so wrong both of you are wrong na naomba sana pate hekima ya ku survive kwa hii dunia because when young people go wrong it hurts me so much kujua kwamba mkurudi tu hata kwetu hata waja hii nipigie mimi simu kuniuliza KRT what should i do ama jagua what should i do because now i feel like going back home to ambia no don't go back home what do you need you need this and that i will call this can you provide this kind of services mnataka kuja ku embarrass president hakuwasaidia huyu president mwenye kila mtu kwa hii dunia anamuona tu ni mbaya you have to trust your president my guys hm yani kama mta, kama wewe uwezi kuheshimu rais utaheshimu nani mtu amekutolea order kwamba kaa hospitali paka ile siku utapona hiyo bill mimi nimechukua nikaeka kwa msamu wewe unatoka hapa mimi siwezi toka hata siwezi enda kwa hata cho mimi sitaki nitawaambia mlete cho hapa kama mnaweza paka nitoke hapa nikiwa yani hii tubo yangu hiyo surgery mnasema itakaa 3 weeks si nimeumia hapa more than one month 3 weeks mimi nakata na smile to june kwa sure i don't have stress i am just buying time chakula watu wangu wamelipwa wanakula Kenyans don't be fooled by everyone who is coming to you to take money because you will be mtakuwa mnaendesha kama baiskeli kwa mteremko mimi mimi mtu hizi niendesha kwa hii dunia you have to be very wise you have to be very wise iko very simple nyinyi mnataka kutumiwa pesa kwa sababu mshajua mtakuwa mnasema hii kitu nataka 30000 40000 mtatumiwa 50 mnaweka ingine kando mtatumiwa mna buy time at ndio ile siku ya saja ni murudi hospitali wewe uwezi kuvumilia ukaa hapa pale vitu ni bure mbona la wacha kuchanganisha wa Kenya na viongozi wao kama you know that their counselors who can, who can come to the hospital they can cancel you from the hospital bed why didn't you ask for such services because you have been catered for by the president Unaweza itisha hata mtu vya kukufanyia masaji ukikuwa hapo utaweka kwa bila rais. Mimi ningekuwa naitisha vitu za ajabu sasa mimi ningekuwa nimeitisha matunda. Nikisikia siteremuki na sema mtu ya masaji na hata nasema hata mahali siumu inaumwa. Kwa sababu hii bili yote imebebwa na mtu huyu. Atasema tu last minute. How much was it? Can you allocate that to this and that? Hiyo biashara hiyo itadisappear na namna hiyo. One one say lakini iwezi fanywa sa ile beginning itafanywa end ukishafanywa paka hii surgery paka uheal paka kila kitu ndio wa compile alafu fanywa mara moja nya hiyo ndio power ya rais mbona so, dhani rais ni mtoto mdogo rais ni rais bwana paka muogope rais na mimi ndio mbenda watu anga maneno yetu ile kuwapatia facts i will give you facts until you respect what is the president mm-hmm. yeah. so this is a yes or no question yes. so do you think like in short yani kitu ninasema ni um wow they just wamekuwa comfortable na kuchangiwa pesa hawataki kufanya pesa. exactly wameshaona wa Kenya ni ATM yao mm-hmm. because wanaona wa Kenya they have sympathy anyone who comes tusaidie mtu kabla hajakufa because that's what they are doing right now tusaidie huyu kabla iko mtu anaendelesha hii uongo atatujisaidie unajisaidia vipi kwani wewe nikiwete wewe nikiwete wewe ufanyaji kazi ile pesa ulikuwa unalipo sa ile mapema ukikunywa changa na kuzunguka na wasichana na kufanya vitu ile unheard of e town wakati ulikuwa na pesa wao walikuwa wanachangia nani no let us speak facts kwa sababu mimi boga anachangianga watu wengi and i don't judge because i do it from my heart kwa sababu mimi Mungu amenibariki kwa style yenye nyinyi muwezi elewa wewe kwa sababu wewe unkoko na pesa yako nionyeshe mwenye mtu wewe ulisaidia hakuna wewe uwezi tutaonyesha watu kumi umwai saidia but sisi tunajinyima sisi mimi hata mimi niko na tabu zangu i have my personal problems mimi hata niko iko watu wanafanya kazi kwa kampuni zangu zingine sijawalipa mshahara lakini naweza nyima hiyo watu na mbele 
kaa huko nyinyi mmeza yako kula iko hii mmoja anataka kufasaiwa cha tusaidie huyu and they will understand me because they know me i none of my people anatesekaga because they know how my principles ziko i can mnaweza cheleweshwa kidogo tusaidie hii mmoja anataka kukufa arudi sawa alafu nyinyi mtaendelea na maisha eh kwa hivyo sometime watu wanafaa waangalie mbali sana kwa maisha hii ni tuko hii maisha into rough terrains you have to know how to navigate them umeelewa kwa hivyo wewe usipotumia wisdom unataka kufanya hii maneno vile unataka utahangaika hii town unataka kuangaika hii Nairobi watu wote wakikuangalia hivi kwa sababu ya nini you are very ungrateful and me i am not in that caliber ya kuongea uongo i will not speak lies if somebody wants advice call my number i will give you true and straight advice yes but us ni pigeza ile mimi kwa kazi wewe ngoja zile mimi kwa free mimi natafuta pesa kwa sababu hii pesa ikiisha nyinyi mtatuaibisha sana nyinyi eh mm. mm. Yes. 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 That is my wish. My wish. Peter is my personal friend. I love the boy. The way I love my life. You get? Problem ara si Peter because Peter is a victim here. Katru needs to know what is life. You are a woman and you have st- decided to stick with your husband, but you need to stop thinking this is business this is not business this is not business this is someone's life on the line this is not business fikiria vile huyu bwana yako atarudi kwa mguu aende akutafutie pesa kwa sababu anajua kazi yake and i know mean niliwaambia come for free lessons about what is music business i will guide you na hata nikamwambia hapo wale walikuibia ile kampuni likuibia stay kutaja ni gani kwa sababu staki watoroke kwa inji nitaenda kukamata wao mimi mwenyewe ataniona hapo na polisi mimi nitaenda hapa DCI headquarters nichukue polisi hapo niwaambie twende tukamate mtu fulani ameibia watoto wetu so utamsaidia bado mtausaidia lakini they hiyo yote ndamsaidia sijasema nimewacha i just want to clear this air enye imewekwa hapa ya kutaka kutuchafulia majina mimi mm-hmm. no wacha tuanze na kwanza Mungu mheshimiwa rais jagwa na KRG. Mmetuweka watu ngapi? Wanadamu tatu na Mwenyezi Mungu mmesema sisi tunaongea uongo. Pale rais yako saa hii akiona hiyo maneno inaendelea atarudi kwa nani? Atatuliza vijana ile maneno tulipanga na nyinyi. Mbona mmoja fanya vile ilikuwa? Utaenda kumwambia nini? Wewe niambie ndaenda kumwambia nini? Kesho kutakuwa na mtu mwingine akona shida atasema nyinyi wasanii ni waenda wazimu. Sitaki maneno yenu. Si ni ukweli? Mnataka kutuharibia maisha yetu. Sisi hatuta kubali kuharibiwa maisha. Mimi ndo mnataka. Sasa ndo ukisikia mtu ameenda bunge, amekataa mambo ya wasanii. Umeona vile wasanii ni wa very ungrateful. Ndio kama unasikia saa nyingine mambo ya wasanii, Mr. Kagi. Nasema wasanii, ah wasanii wote kuna sijawisaidia na mimi nawaambia kila siku. Nimewasaidia sana. Lakini wengi wao asante ya punda. Boga nitataka kujua sasa wewe moving forward uh, au watu wameharibu jina yako ya mheshimiwa Jabo. Mm. Jina ya rais wamechafua. Yes. Kesho kukuwa na shida, msanii mwingine aingie kwenye shida. Mm. Uko tayari kusaidia msanii tena kwenda kwa rais kulia? Unajua kusaidia ni roho. Mm. Ni calling. Unaweza ona ule ndio alikuwa mjinga acha tusaidie hivi sasa. Inategemea ndakuwa na feel namna gani hiyo siku. Mm-hmm. Unaelewa kwa sababu mimi pia mimi msasa mimi you will not be pushing me around the way you want. Mimi you cannot push me around the way you want. Mimi I will only look at justice. Does this person really need this help? Kwanza aongeleshe kwa sababu mimi naona ah watu tunawasaidia hata bila kutujawapatia insight. Unasaidia mtu alafu kesho anakuja kukudhalilisha. Kwa sababu ana feel entitled. My friend you need to know it's a sacrifice. People sacrifice a lot. Kwa hii nchi hakuna pesa ya bure. Hakuna kitu inatokaga mahali bure. Hii yote tunapigeka mahesabu tunaona tumetengeza pesa fulani, tumepoteza fulani, ngoja tusaidie fulani na kiasi fulani. Lakini haina gaseti haina kazi, iko naye. Hata sio mimi nimekonda tu namna hii. Oh nadhani ni stress ama ni raha niko naye. Niko na vitu inanikula kichwa left right and center. Hata mimi natamani nikae mahali nikae kama bonzo. Oh. <laughs> Nikulage mahali yangu. Uh, yes. Uh, Brian, yeah. You like what well, you had offered to move the body from? Yes. Um, Not offered I did already. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So now there are other plans. Are you planning to No, 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 no. Me, me, see, I don't want. You see, 
I am a human being. I am not Jesus. I am not a prophet. I am not an angel. I am just a businessman in Nairobi. Knowing that mambo imechemuka kwa hii town, si kila mtu ako na roho ya kusaidia. Mimi niliguswa tu na hii habari niliona mitandaoni. Mimi hata nilikuwa nimekataa. Ni rafiki yangu mwingine anaitwa Kevo. Alinipigia na mke wake asubuhi. Akaanza vipi? Umeona hii maneno ya Brian? Nikamwambia hiyo ni kipindi Brian ako wahi. Mimi nikataa ata confirm wataona hii interview. Akanipigia akaniambia bro, bwana hii kitu kusaidia wiki jana. Lakini usitaje jina yangu. Nikamwambia hii na shida. Ngoja niulize wewe. Nikamwambia umeona wapi hiyo news? Akaniambia muona SPM. Nikapigia huyu kidoni kamuza vipi ndio akaniconfirmia nikamwambia sasa mimi bro nitachangia kulipa city mochel kwa sababu sunaona huyu branch ila is someone who is tiktok anajulikana mimi sio idai kumuona nilimuona once three weeks ago nilikuwa town na rafiki yangu mwingine Nash Karanja na uzaga kamera hapo town Tum, alikuwa ameingia kwa range rover yangu tukaenda pale jamii ya mosque pale tukiwa tumekaa ndani yuko msana mwingine ndio mincha na rafiki yangu kuna waandishi wa habari walikuwa wanatafuta kutoka Uganda So nilikuwa namueleza sehemu niko. Sasa tukizungushana hapo town kwa sababu msichana baada hajashika hii campus ya town. Ananiambia kwa street fulani fulani mimi nikapaka pale. Nikakuwa niko ndani ya ga. Ndio yule kijana akapita mbele ya gari. Mimi nilikuwa naongea na huyu kwa si nikimwambia pale mimi niko. Nikamuona akapita huyu.